soul and welcome to yoga with concha my name is concha joy your intuitive yogi coach and today we are going to be moving through seven different sequences for your seven different chakras okay so let's do this all right so we're going to begin actually here in the seated position right we're going to be working and starting with the root chakra Right, our root chakra governs, governs our feelings of safety, our feelings of security, our feelings of just being confident, just feeling good, feeling that sense of connection, feeling that sense of, you know, being in a community, right? So let's cultivate these feelings right here in the body. All right, I want you to just close your eyes and just feel your root on the ground. Feel your root planted firmly. We're going to rock the pelvis forward and backward so that we can really feel our seat bones connecting to the ground. We're also feeling how this movement really shifts the energy in the legs. Right? We're really feeling this energy. Let's take a deep breath in. Good. We're going to do a few breaths like this. All right, so as you lean forward, deep inhale. <sighs> Leaning back. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> Good. And let's take a moment to just close the eyes and breathe. We're going to take this moment to really remember a time where you really felt connected to either your family or your community or people that you really admire, people that you really love, right? When was the last time you were feeling that sense of connection? That is your root chakra, right? So... <laughs> So what I want to do is just feel that sense of connection, feel that sense of belonging, right? This is the root chakra, safety, security, right? Feeling that companionship, feeling that love, right? That sense of balance and well-being. All right, good. And as we're in our root chakra, we're going to we're going to take one more pose. We're going to get into down dog. All right, so let's go ahead and just tuck the toes, lift the legs, and we're gonna pedal out the feet. All right, bending one knee at a time. We're kind of working our way up to the second chakra, the Svadhisthana, which is our sacral chakra. All right, so now that we're kind of working our way from the root up to the sacral, let's come back down and let's bring our feet together and knees open. All right, this pose is actually really nice when you get something to sit on here. All right, and then feet open, or feet together, knees open. And I'm just gonna adjust the camera here so you can get a little bit more access, okay? To the pose, all right? And this is what it is, okay? Good, good. And then as we do this, let's just rock it for left and right, left and right. Good. And as you rock left and right, feel the energy in your second chakra, this feeling of creativity, the feeling of, of sexuality, the feeling of, you know, this intimate vulnerability, right? The emotion, the emotional space. That's what the second chakra is all about. So cultivating our emotions, but really, I think that, you know, what's really important is finding a balance in our emotions, right? Allowing ourselves to feel what we need to feel, but then release it. And one thing that I have really noticed is that, you know, when we're in a situation that is bringing up more emotion than the situation calls for, then that is a situation where we need to tap into what happened in our past to make that situation so intense today, okay? And that is going to be a key element in balancing your chakras, right? That's called inner child work, okay? 
So um, if you want more information on that, you could always click on the link below and get access to work with me, right? See what that inner child work is all about, right? Tuning into, you know, what has happened in my past that is affecting me today. And let me, let me go back and work with that child and see what they need, right? That, that person meaning us. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and bring the feet to get the knees together. All right, we're gonna come off of the pillow and let's get into our third chakra, which is our Manipura, our, our center, our stomach center, right? And we're gonna just go ahead and come into boat pose here. All right, you can lift the legs if you like or you can keep the legs down. Okay, and as you feel your abdomen really strong, this is the center for feeling confident, right? For feeling so confident, right? To feel your own empowerment, to feel your own empowered energy. All right, so let's take two more breaths. Good, one more breath, one more breath. Good, let's come back up. We're gonna hold the legs into the body. Give them a nice squeeze. Good, and we're gonna get into the fourth pose, which is for our heart chakra, okay, the anahata. Now for the anahata, we're gonna come onto the belly. All right, we're gonna bring the hands right underneath the rib cage, right outside of the rib cage, rather, and we're gonna peel up into this low cobra. You can take it as deep as you like, but all we're doing is just shining the heart forward, right? We're taking a back bend. And a really beautiful thing about these back bends, yogis, is that energetically it propels you forward. Okay, so let's take some deep breaths here. Deep breath in. Just two or three more breaths. All right, maybe come down and then press it back up. Good, good, let's come up one more time, lifting right here, good. We're just gonna take a quick little child's pose. All right, so let's sit the hips to the heels. It's just gonna counterbalance. And as we're in our child's pose, it really is good for the root chakra and for the third eye, which is our next pose. Okay, so to get into the third eye, we wanna be able to balance the third eye energy. Okay, so you can stack your hands and rest your third eye right on the back of your hands. So as your head is rested on your hands, take a moment to bring your eye gaze to right at the center of your, of your brows, right? Notice what it feels like to pour all of your energy and your awareness right to the third eye, right? Feel it as you're in your child's pose. Good. And as we come up, we're gonna take it back down from the third eye into the throat. And we're gonna do a pose that is really good for the throat and the third eye and the crown, right? And this is Matsyasana, fish pose. So we're gonna drop the forearms down. We're gonna lift up through the chest and let the head just drop back. Okay, and the beautiful thing about this pose is it's called Matsyasana, fish pose. But in Sanskrit, it translates to the healer of all dis-ease the healer of all dis-ease. So this is one of my favorites, okay? So press your tailbone toward the floor, lift up through the ribs and the chest, and let your head just drop back. Feel the throat chakra opening and the third eye in the balance. All right, good. And as you breathe, breathe into your throat chakra pour that pranic energy right into your throat chakra, right? That pranic energy is the life-giving energy of the breath. 
Let's do three more breaths. Good, good, good. And for our, and for our crown chakra, our last pose, we're gonna come into our Shavasana. All right, and I want you to take your hands right at the top of your head and just massage your scalp, massage your whole scalp, every part of your scalp. Good, and then go ahead and just lie down. Let your arms rest side by side. And I want you to just take this moment to visualize all of your chakras working in harmony. Every one of your chakras working in a perfect balance. Creating harmony. Creating resonance in your entire body. Let's take a deep breath in. Good, good. Let's take a full body stretch. Reach the arms up. Feel all of your energy aligning perfectly in a way that feels good. And then we're going to bring the knees into the chest and let's roll to the side and let's press on up to seated. All right, beautiful, beautiful work. Good. And as you're here, take this moment to recognize yourself as this full energetic being, as all of your energy space is coming right into harmony, right? Beautiful work, everyone. You did amazing. And I'm seeing you right now with that beautiful fluffed up aura, with those beautiful aligned chakras, all vibrant in color, so healthy, so rejuvenated, so refreshed. And I'm sending you so much love, beautiful soul. Thank you so much for joining me for this chakra balancing and aligning sequence. Namaste.